I'm the Markman and welcome to the Markverse. I got the confirmation of these upcoming figures just the other day and I immediately pre-ordered many of these figures. The truth is, I heard rumors about this last week but first, I confirmed this before publishing it to be sure. But before we start, just a simple request, please subscribe to my channel. So here it is, the DC Collector line, let's start with that. We have six. Let's start with the two-pack of Thomas Wayne and Zoom. I'm a bit confused here because it says Zoom and not Professor Zoom. Those two are different characters, Hunter Solomon and Hubert Ton respectively. But both are reverse Flash. Though sometimes a character like the Flash calls Professor Zoom only Zoom, but when you are selling a product, it's different. You need to put a clear description of what you are selling. Nevertheless, when I think of Thomas Wayne, I think of Professor Zoom being with him in the Flashpoint Paradox. So probably they might just have misstating the word professor. Anyway, if this is indeed from the Flashpoint Paradox, then this is good for those who have missed getting the 2020 um, Thomas Wayne, but I hope it's the mass version, which is hard to find figure. Hence, very expensive. I have the previous Thomas Wayne, but still, I pre-ordered this upcoming Tupac. And... Okay, so what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Second is the human Green Lantern Simon Bass. 2024 is the year of the Green Lantern Corps. Recently, we are getting them and about to get some of them in the next few months. And Simon will be the most recent. He is the sixth human GL unless you consider Jade, the daughter of Alan Scott, to be GL as well. Then Simon is the seventh. If you are expanding your GL collection like me, then this is a must-have. And by the way, again... What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Cause he carries a gun. Just a precaution when the cha charge of his ring dies. Then the third collector edition is Greed. I learned about this character when I was playing the video game Injustice 2. Greed was the skin of Cyborg in that game and considered his main nemesis in the comics. So this is my theory. In one of my previous video, I said we have an upcoming DC Rebirth Cyborg. It will be the same figure except of course they need to darken it and change a few details like the face to look like grid. Remember when the Flash in Justice Barry Allen arrives then comes Reverse Flash? Then right after Jay Garrick the Flash each version was released came the rival? I think for grid it will be the same gameplay. Fourth is Mr. Terrific. Two characters took the mantle, Terry Sloan and Michael Holt. I will be disappointed if it's going to be Terry who is from the Golden Age and a member of the Justice Society of America. I wanted to have Michael Holt first, the third smartest DC characters with his T-Spears. That's going to be cool. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to have Terry but I wanted to get Michael first. That's fair play, right? Piff is Lightning Lad, a hero who debuted during the 1950s, can manipulate electricity and a founding member of the Legion of Superheroes. There was an episode in Justice League Unlimited where Supergirl, Green Arrow, and Jon Stewart traveled to the future and met the team. Lightning Lad was there. If I feel McFarlane will continue doing the members of the team, I will definitely collect this. I pass on this, but let's see, I might change my mind. Last, we will be having another Swamp Thing. This will be the fourth Swamp Thing and still a mega figure. The last we got was the Glow in the Dark. I'm not sure but I think this is the first collector edition mega figure so I don't know how will this turn out and how can this be a collector edition. Then the DC Direct all with comics. First, Superman from Superman 78. We have an upcoming Taste to Perceive Superman figure which is based on the live action film but this Superman 78 that I'm talking about right now is a DC Direct based on the comics. Definitely, it will look like Christopher with a little difference in its look. This means we'll be having two Christopher Reeves. One is based on the live action film and another is based on the comics. I'm going to love this so please McFarlane don't disappoint me with a failure on your face sculpting cause I'm really looking forward to this. Second, another Red Hood based on Batman The Adventure Continues comics which is in the same animated universe as Batman The Animated Series. Again... Okay, so what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. We also had a 6 inch scale DC Direct figure of this before. So we now have over a dozen Red Hood including the upcoming one which I also included in my previous videos. His motorcycle is also soon to be released. 
Actually, next to Batman, Red Hood has the most 7-inch scale figures among all the Bat family members. Last is Shazam. I don't have any more details such as where it will be based. But once I get infos, I will immediately create another video of it. This is the 6th Shazam figure. There were 2 live action and 3 comic base. Then, the DC Multiverse line from Zack Snyder's Justice League. Dark side with armor and throne. So basically, I guess this is either going to be a reissue or a figure that is very close to the design of the 2020 Dark Side, which I also have. The major difference is it has a throne. Next is a 1950s Batman version. The logo of this Batman version is plain black. It's not inside the yellow oval and he has a blue cape, gray clothes, and yellow utility belt. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a hit for McFarlane as every Batman collector will try to get one as well for their collection. We will also have another Batman from the Batman Spawn crossover. This will be a chase version. This is, I think, the second Batman figure from the crossover. The first was a two-pack with Spawn. Then another Batman from the Batman Noel 2011 graphic novel. It is an adaptation of Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. Batman is like playing Ebenezer Scrooge and there were the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. So probably this might be released before Christmas. Remember they had released Batman figures wearing a red and a blue Santa Claus suit? I wish this would be a yearly thing for McFarlane like what Hasbro Star Wars is doing. Also another Batman, this is Terry McGinnis from the Batman Beyond Neo Gothic storyline. This was published in September last year and just ended this year. I'm not going to spoil the story but for me it's dark. And that is the reason why I wanted his figure as well. I hope it has a different body sculpt as the 2021 Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond figure because I already got that. Then a two-pack from a live-action film, Nightmare Batman, and another armored Batman from Batman vs. Superman. Recently, I just reported that there's an upcoming single armored Batman. So consecutive armored Batmans are coming. Then Batman from the Shadow of the Bat. I'm very curious about this one because it's not a mega figure but it costs 3,800 pesos. That's almost 40 US dollars. Then in its description, it says Batman 85 and it includes the name of the artist Norm Brayfogle. I feel this is not an action figure but rather a statue even though it did not say it is in the description. Usually when McFarlane promotes their statues, they put the names of the artists such as Jim Lee and Dan Mora which they did here. Anyway, it's just an assumption. Next is Blue Beetle with a black and white accent. So now it will be a black and white Blue Beetle without any blue. Then we have three DC Direct The New Batman Adventures line. Usually, these are issues of the DC collectibles before McFarlane took over the management. We have the Blue and Gray Batman, Scarecrow, and Riddler. For the vehicles, we have Batmobiles from Batman Beyond Animated Series. One is a gold label and the other is not. But both are described as having lights and sounds, so expect both to be expensive. Last, we will get a McFarlane Digital 12-inch statue of the Joker by Jason Fabo. So that's it. As I always say, once I get to confirm other upcoming figures, I will immediately share the good news with you. So if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to push that notification button since I publish new videos every week. Again, I am the Markman. Thank you for visiting the Markverse, and always remember to pay forward with kindness.